Hello world, welcome to the very special video 64 on my channel where I'm building my own digital assistant named Shane, like Jarvis from the Iron Man movies and comics. This is the fourth video in my Shane update playlist, and make sure you've watched the others before or after you're watching this so you could figure out uh, where we last left off. So after weeks of work, I finally figured out how to turn on my webcam using a Python library called Pygame and Windows. So I can create my own, my own heads up display that looks like this. So definitely not as fancy as this background image you see here. But like I said in previous Shane updates, this rear facing view is for audiences watching the Iron Man movies, right? So you can see Tony Stark played by Robert Downey Jr.'s facial expressions as he is looking through his own heads up display. So let that being said, let's take a look at that same view that I created myself, but again, not that fancy. So let's run this real quick. All right, so this is my heads up display. So right here, you could see that uh, it says Shane. Right here, as you've seen in other the previous video, we have our power status. So it says we are on battery power and we have 97% battery remaining. So let's plug in the power to see that it can um, detect that. All right, now it says we are on AC power. Okay, then up here, we have the time and date. And then uh, it's reverse, sorry about that. So here is a list of the external devices. So, well, let's do it with this finger. There is a no Arduino board connected or any other external devices. And this is where you would see the status of my rocket launcher once I get one of those. And so leave a comment if you sell rocket launchers like from the Iron Man movies. Just kidding, please do not uh, leave a comment if you sell rocket launchers. So um, that's all we got right now. I turned off the voice activation and the little Gmail icon for now. We'll play with those in the next updates and since I'm recording you can see a pretty significant lag so in the video quality so down here I will probably have to put frames per second so I can continually see how to uh, increase my frames per second All right so let's exit out of this all right now let's run through the code real quick so First, before we get into the GUI, I want to just do a sample Pi game camera. So what you need to do is you need to import. If you haven't already, make sure you pip install Pi game. Then you need to import Pi game dot camera. Then initializing it, initialize it using or initialize Pi game using Pi game init. Then initialize the camera. So camera dot init. Then your webcam is pygame dot camera with a lowercase c dot camera with an uppercase c zero. Zero is your installed default webcam. So one would be the next one it can find. So if I had my webcam, you would see that you could press one. Next we're going to start a screen. You do that by pygame.display.set mode, dual brackets, right? So you're passing variables and then you're passing a tuple. And 800 by 550 was the size of the screen that um, you'll see in a second. Then you're going to do webcam.start. We defined webcam here. 
And then this is a Pi game event. So um, while this is true, then we're going to create an image. And we do that getting get an image using this webcam variable. And then we're going to draw that onto the screen that we defined up here, screen.blit. So we're going to pass it the image. And then no, the starting point is the left. So 0, 0 means the starting point is the upper top left. And then you're going to update. So this is going to keep going. Uh, I don't know the frames per second, the default. So let's run this. There you go. Now what I don't know, I think the default webcam has a default setting on it. So since we started at 0, 0, my face is in this lower left corner and not in the middle. And I think the reason why that is for this to work on Python, Pygame, PyCharm, and then Windows, I had to go into this file. I'll show you how to get there in a second because and comment these two out. So I'm going to comment these back in. And we're going to run this again. And then you'll see we get this cannot set capture resolution. Here is the link to the file. So if you're getting this error, click on this link and it will take you to this. Line number 60. It does not like that it's passing. This is the class of camera that you are trying to define the height and width and it set resolution. So by commenting this out, you can now run this. Now I always caution people since I'm a beginner, I don't know if that's a good recommendation because I'm actually modifying the library that came with it. But it works when we go into the full code. So if you're just trying to turn on your webcam and not trying to do something similar to me, here is the code that you need. So here is the same, but I've added it into my GUI, which I've shown. Please watch the playlist. I'm not going to go through all of this. So you import pygame.camera, just like we showed. So I define something called a GUI overlay. This is all the variables in the code. GUI overlay. So you're going to initialize Pygame, initialize the camera like we've already shown. We've already created a screen in the previous videos. So that's already set up. Then we init start the variable webcam. Then we start the webcam. So this is already shown in the last file right here. And then this is all uh, from previous videos. Let me make sure real quick. Yeah, Webcam.start, so right here. And then this is a Pi game function, not really a camera function. So now that we're in here, we're going to set the image. And then we're going to draw it on there, passing the same thing like we did before, the image at the 0, 0 upper left, upper top, and then nothing else. Everything else is part of the um, original thing. So if you have a Pi game that you've created and you want to do the camera, you just run this code right here into your code, and it should work. So let's run this one more time. And now, as you can see, I am centered. I'm looking directly at my webcam, and I'm pretty much centered. And I know it's true centered because this right here, if you've seen in my previous video, I made the date and time start and end at the 50th percent of the screen width and height. So this is perfectly centered, and my face is more or less centered. All right, so end that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. 
And please remember to subscribe if you want to continue watching my progress building Shane. And please like this video. Thanks. Goodbye, world.